Uh, so I forgot to take video of the old vent pipe. Here it is, single wall with duct tape. Nice, huh? Just connected this vent pipe with his own pieces. It's not done correctly. And now we're gonna continue with vent pipe done correctly. This goes all the way through, up and through the roof. So that we're going to remove all this and this and we're going to cut a larger return to here. There, that's much nicer. Yes, yeah, so shortly after I posted this video, Joe Shear uh, commented that when you align the seams, then it's not fully locked, and he's correct. Um, you have to twist it about an inch. You have to line up the seam with the with the little X that's on the vent pipe. On the, and um, this is one of those cases where I let my OCD get carried away. So I will be listening to Joe uh, uh, and going back there on Monday, hopefully Monday afternoon and giving that a little twist uh, it's right by the job where I'm working at right now anyways but uh, thank you Joe and I keep looking uh, for your comments uh, this is one of the reasons why I post these videos uh, to show my customers what things are supposed to look like and also to get good advice from smart guys like Joe Shear um, go ahead and follow his channel he's a very smart guy plenty to teach uh, enjoy the rest of the video Need a strap right here, and a strap right there. And we're good. Right here, I'm going to um, replace the transformer to stop that buzzing sound. So now I'm making a little piece of sheet metal to cover up a gap uh, because the return plenum is a little bit smaller, it leaves a gap on the filter rack. So that's all this is. So right here I'm showing you that I already screwed the, the filter rack into the furnace. I enlarged the opening. I used foam tape to seal it instead of having to use duct sealer or foil tape. I just put, uh, used foam tape and screwed it on. Right here is where I put that sheet metal to block off that piece so there won't be a gap back there. So right here is where I took off the old um, sheet metal which is right here. I'm showing you with that how it was positioned before. It was just too small. The opening was like, I don't know, like 14 by 4, something like that. It was way too small. So I'm going to use part of that to cover the hole. And then I'm going to make a larger hole. And then I'm going to box it in. Right here, you can see that it's already been sealed from the bottom. The duct sealer. So here's a picture of the old grill. I forgot to video it, but it was a real small, 16 by 16 or something like that. Um, this is a video before I actually enlarged the opening. I enlarged it to about a, uh, what is it, a 24 by 24. It was a 16 by 16, I believe, something like that. So I like to use bar type grills um, only because I feel that they make less noise because there's a bigger gap in between each of the 
louvers so um, it makes it for a more quiet grill so that's why I prefer the you'll see that I mostly use bar type grills unless I have no choice then, uh, if I have to use a stamp I will but usually I try to stick to the, the bar type grills so now I'm uh, I already sealed the collar and building the frame as you can see for the box that's gonna enclose the, the return cavity and um, right here you s I'm gonna show you this fancy handy dandy um, note app that I have it's a uh, you don't need a cell phone for this app you can just put your notes uh, it's called your hand you just write on your hand whatever measurements you need and then they're with you So here you go, the finished product, it's a nice bench, you can sit on it, stand on it, nice, super quiet uh, return now, and I'm just showing you right here, the old versus the new, small little slit opening versus a nice big wide opening, and now it has a return plenum, it's not going on to the side of the furnace like it was before and uh, your new vent pipe double wall no single wall I uh, put a trap with a union and a safety overflow switch new transformer um, I just turned it on it's already dropping temperature and right here you're gonna see I have to get real close so you can actually hear any sound at all from the air getting sucked through it and the customer noticed uh, increased um, airflow to his daughter's room he said that there wasn't any hardly any before and now uh, it was a significant so difference hope you guys enjoyed the video please don't forget to like subscribe comment I love comments have a good one